And I remember the one time I saw him, I was at a convention. He was surrounded by people. I waited for everybody to pass, you know. Tapped him on the shoulder. He turned around. And I put my arm around him. And I said, let's walk. Okay, this is a question that everybody's asking. Can you make the character interesting, the expression interesting, while still making them pretty? Very difficult to do. You can do it in three simple steps. We're gonna keep it nice and simple, nice and slow for you. All right, key difference here, kids. He's an illustrator, I'm an animator. In animation, you gotta make this stuff work. We don't have dead face. You gotta focus on the expressions. 10 plus years in the animation industry. We're gonna get learned, come on. <laughs> Ross draws, Ross draws, Ross draws. More like Ross stupid. Ross flaws. Flaws, Ross flaws. <laughs> Dead face. Guilty. Tracy. Guilty. You walk around my town. My town! Playing patty cake. And you think you're so big. You think you're so tough. You think I bluff. You think it's gonna get rough. Enough is enough. Ross draws, ro more like Ross flaws. First step, find your reference. And I'm talking Billie Eilish. Really big deal here because she is she has so much expression in her face, it's really interesting to study Billie. Step two, you have to break down that reference. And also what's something really good to break is children. Break down children. You break down the children's. And the third step is to apply those expressions to the dead face. And later, I uncover a secret shape that can pretty much fix every single dead face. So, but first we're gonna take a look at his art. And this video is brought to you by Skillshare where you can click the link below and learn from amateurs on the internet. Or you can click the other link and learn from professionals who are working in the industry, like me. That's right, I'm my own sponsor now. If you click the link below, you got animation, you got design, you got character design, you got storyboards, you got voice acting, you got music production, everything that goes into an animation project, even outside of animation. Click the link below, check out this new amazing set of classes taught by industry professionals, not a bunch of random people on the internet. These are people working in the industry and it's awesome. Support me supporting you. You need to tell your story. Tell professionally. All right, come on. <laughs> what is she, a, a, a leaf? Leaf? <laughs> painting. God, again with the painting. Always painting. Painty, painty. This is the arrogance that I'm talking about with this man. He, he thinks he's so clever. It's a photograph and they're, they're painted on top. They're not real. And you're not tricking anybody. We know that they're not real. I'm not stupid. You're stupid. If you wanted to paint me, you just have to ask. Basically stalking me at this point. And is that supposed to be my dog? You can't even draw a dog. Looks like a monkey. So embarrassing. Oh my god. And you call that a house? It's so tiny. You can't even fit the door. as a door for ants. <laughs> oh. oh, that's... That's kind of... It's big. <gasps> Ramon! No! Disgusting, amateur, dead face, dead face. Oh wait, oh, wait, these are mine. Number one problem with dead face, can you make someone have an interesting expression while keeping them pretty? Step one, find your reference. I was saying Billie Eilish is extremely good to look at. She has so many different ranges of expressions. So, but the main thing that we're looking for here, and the main thing that I want everybody to focus on throughout this whole process, the thing that we're looking for is simplicity. The difficult part of expressions is that whenever students and whenever people go in to try to make expressions, you get all these wrinkles and you get all this stuff that just gets in the way. Forget all that, forget about it. In animation, we have to simplify things down to the most simple, simple version to get the expression across. So study children and study a good animation. So right now we're actually gonna bypass Billy, but break her down on your own time. Right now we're gonna be moving into breaking children. It's good to break down children because if you try to find expressions on maybe adults or teenagers, which I found whenever doing my research, is that sometimes they wanna look cool. You know, they'll like, they'll kind of hold back on their expressions and you won't get the full range of expression. They're, they're, they're not raw, you know? But kids don't care. Kids will just full on be like, whoa, and their eyebrows will go up and down like crazy. They're not trying to be like sexy or whatever. They're just full on raw emotions and that's what I'm looking for. Also, they're really, really simple. You get like really simple, clean, shapes clean eyes and mouths and noses they don't have all these wrinkles and stuff kind of getting in the way so very important to look at that the next step is to look at uh, animation or just stuff on the internet this artist right here i always see this artist when i go on pinterest to look up uh, animation expressions again simple 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 if we can make an expression with just two dots and a little mouth face 
that's what we're looking for. How, how, can, how simple can we go here to learn how to make expressions? Because we're going to be applying this later to, uh, you know, the more complex features of a Ross Tran. Even then, they're not that complicated. Step two, the simple breakdown. So after you got your reference, we're going to break it down real simple. One of the main things I want you to notice is I'm going to be drawing and I'm going to be sliding right to the side of it. So this is in the nuances here. How can I really barely, barely tweak these things to hit that expression that uh, Da Vinci has? And it's very slight. And the one thing that I want to notice as I'm doing these, as I'm breaking these down, I really want myself to notice and all of you to notice that these eyebrows and these mouth shapes, they're so similar to each other. The eyebrows are very often little curves, little hoops, or straights. The more that I do these, the more that I realize, wow, it's just, we're just using the same shapes over and over again, just very slightly different. All right, right over here, let's go to the more extreme side and look at this animation breakdown. Okay, so for this step, what I want you to basically be doing is gathering all these breakdowns, all these simple breakdowns of children and of animation, but also you're going to be choosing right here at the very end, I want you to start gathering these breakdowns and you're gonna be choosing the expressions that you want to add to the dead face. All right, try to go with something simple, something that you can kind of like have fun with, you know, and uh, just be really simple with. All right, and I'm not the only one doing this. There's professionals in the animation industry that are already doing this. They're studying the voice actor on the emphasis and trying to get those emotions, uh, those expression breakdowns. You should be breaking these down as well. These are gold. Step three, apply, apply it. Apply yourself. Tracing, no, I don't know what that is. Never done it, never seen it before. Uh, no professional has ever done it before, ever. And everything that professionals do is from here. It's from in your noggin. We don't, we do everything from scratch. Never traced in my life. Don't ask stupid questions. Guys, this is so mysterious. This is so spooky. All right, so right here, as I'm not tracing, I realize that there's a problem. The mouth is not the style that I want, but it's the expression that I want. This is the issue. We're, here it is, we're at the issue. It's kind of spooky. How do you make somebody pretty while still keeping their expression kind of pushed? Are, are we gonna find the answer of how to, to fix dead face? It's spooky. Okay, here's some of my work. I keep a massive sketch list so I can hop between sketches multiple times and uh, I never get stuck on one. I would encourage everybody to do this. It's very important. Moving past that, I wanna show that. Here, I'm kinda getting closer to the answer of what this is, but there's different, there's other ways that I can simplify it. So I'm going into my old work and I'm trying to find ways to simplify these shapes. Here's the answer. Your number one job right now, notice the patterns. It's real spooky. Take a look at this, watch this one. Reference good character design. You reference good animation. They're always tapering on these mouths. Tapering. Boom. Tapering yet again. Boom. Every single time. Don't you think that any of these mouths are different? And I'm going to show you in a minute that they're not. All right, there seems to be a bigger picture here. A bigger, bigger dinkle at play. It's kind of, it's getting spooky. It's getting, it's getting kind of weird. What is this, a spook, spooktober? Look, as I break these down, it's just happening over and over and over again. Tapering here, tapering on the top, tapering on the bottom. There's so many more different ways of tapering that I'm not mentioning here that I mentioned in my uh, class. But right now, I just want you to recognize how many times we're tapering. All right, and now it hits me. They are the same shape. This is the big reveal, people. Please pay attention to this. They're all the same shape. Walt Disney is alive. Uh, airplanes are real. Pyramids are real. Py pyramid. This is crazy. This is crazy. Now we just have to apply this solution and this realization. Simplify, simplify your mind. Look, and as we go through, I am shifting these shapes. I am simplifying these shapes. People, the only thing I'm doing here is manipulating this flipping shape, twisting and turning. You say, oh, Ethan, it's a different shape. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. No, it's the same shape. Try to do this with a circle. Try to do this with an oval. You cannot manipulate it into these mouth shapes. Same shape, same shape. This is our key to fixing dead face. This, this is big stuff. No matter which way you turn it, I'm always there. It's always fitting. Th this is a this is so exciting to me. Boom, there you have it. This is the number one key of fix, fixing dead face. You're welcome, now you're smarter. <laughs> All 
All right, that was just a revelation that I had to fixing dead face. Now we're gonna move on to step three is to finally apply this. So for me personally, I just take the same eyes that he has, the same shape. And the way that you can do this is literally drawing over where the eyelids are. This is a breakdown. I break it down and then I slap the expression over it just to kind of get a feel, you know, of what I'm going for. Try to just hit the same expression that uh, he has. And then from there, I can try to tweak it into the expression that I want. Okay, and I'm kind of having fun with it. You know, just, just a little fun. Nothing wrong with a little fun. All right, we're still in step three here, but I came across another problem, connecting the eyebrows. This is another major problem that students have is you start breaking the mask whenever your eyebrows go up and down and you've got them squishing in and yada yada. So what I try to do is just make sure they're always connected in some way like this. Sometimes they won't, but really try to always do that and try to break down things that have this in them. Again, this is some of my work. I'm trying to just make my work a little bit more stable and try to understand where I could have connected the eyebrows a little bit better. Uh, if you don't know how to draw the back of a head, it's always good to just slap a hat on it. You just put a hat there, it's good. The back of the head doesn't need to exist. Good to go. All right, and for Sad Zelda, I want to point out it did the exact same thing. I broke down the original eyes. And then after that, after you break down the original eyes and the shapes that they're contained in, then you can just add the lids on top of that. Draw the eyes, just add lids right in the middle. That can get you where you need to go with your expression. It can be very, very simple. Don't try to overcomplicate all this stuff and your little baby. All right, and for the end process here, I want you to do this. I want you to break down another artist's dead face. It can be one of my dead face. It can be anybody's dead face. It can be your own dead face. Add an expression to it through this process. Tag me in it with uh, Ethan Becker Showcase. Add your own style to it. Give him some cool looking clothes. And be respectful, okay? Don't be a little punk. Don't, don't go like making videos, calling people out for dead face or just like blasting it on the internet. Don't be a little snot nosed, a little punk. And again, as a last message, I just want everybody to know, don't, don't ever trace. Yeah, well, there you have it. You know, he's not that bad of a guy. You know, I used to hate him, getting him on his talk, 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 talk. He was always talking. And I remember the one time I saw him, I was at a convention. He was surrounded by people. I waited for everybody to pass, you know. Tapped him on the shoulder. He turned around. And I put my arm around him. And I said, let's walk. This is about the same time as this controversy, and I started walking, and I said, listen here, buddy. I know you're going through a lot. Everybody's hounding on you right now. You know, trust draws, blah, blah, blah. Always talking. Ross draws the tracing and all this kind of stuff. Don't listen to him. I said, look at me. He wouldn't look at me. I grabbed his little face, and I said, look at me. Look at me. You can't trace out there. They don't understand you. They don't love you. They don't understand. I understand. Me, I understand. You can trace me. You can trace everything I do, you can trace me. It's okay, I don't mind it. If you gotta trace anybody, trace me. And I said, come here. You can trace me. And I gave him one of the little of those. And he did this, I'll never forget this. He said, he said this, he said. Who are you?